Following the government's announcements about a four week lockdown, I've received many inquiries from patients and members of the public about our current position with regards to COVID-19. And on the eve of the second lockdown, I wanted to update you on what this means for the services we provide to you. Up to this point, the South West hasn't been impacted as much as some other parts of the country, but the number of patients we are seeing with COVID has significantly increased through October and into November. Currently, at the Great Western Hospital, we are caring for about 30 patients who have tested positive for COVID-19 and a further 20 with suspected COVID-19. That compares with only a handful of cases a month ago, and there is a definite upwards trend. I know that many people are concerned that we may need to cancel operations and appointments and further restrict visiting, as we had to during the first wave of the pandemic. I want to be clear that at this point in time, we aren't cancelling any appointments due to COVID. Clearly that position may change, but if it does, we will update you on our website and patients will be notified directly. We're here to care for our local communities. and We don't want to have to stop any of our activity unless we really have to. When we cancelled activity earlier in the year, the unfortunate knock-on impact was that patients are now having to wait longer for their treatment. And for that, I am sorry. But please be assured that we are working really hard to see as many patients as we can but we now have less bed capacity than we did before the pandemic due to the need to, for everybody to socially distance. The positive news is that we are, our performance has been recovering relatively well, but we still have some way to go and continue to ask people to bear with us. So it's really important that you continue to attend your appointment as normal at this time. If you can't come, please let us know so we can quickly give that appointment to somebody else. I know that some of you may be worried about coming into hospital, but I'd like to reassure you that the hospital is a safe place to visit. We've taken every precaution to keep patients, visitors and our staff as safe as possible. And we know so much more about the virus now. This is knowledge we are using to keep everybody safe. These measures include reducing the number of entrances in use, asking everyone to wear a face mask or covering and to observe social distancing at all times. We've also introduced a one-way system in, into and out of the hospital, so please help us by observing these rules. It is clear that the second wave of COVID is upon us. We learned a huge amount from the first wave, and I'm proud of, for how our staff responded to that unprecedented situation. Staff continue to work extremely hard to care for patients and be prepared for whatever the next few weeks and months brings. But this is different from the first wave in that we responded to this against a backdrop of normal winter demand and the risks that come with more things like flu. We have been working through our plans as a trust and as a system to increase our capacity should we need it, including the Nightingale Hospital in Bristol, something our staff will play a key role in should it be needed. So if you need urgent and emergency care, do not be afraid to reach out to us. We're here for you. If you're expecting a baby and have planned checkups booked, please attend them and reach out if you have any concerns. And if you have any other appointments scheduled, please continue to attend unless we notify you otherwise. This year has been like no other, and as a community we are facing another uncertain period, with not only concerns about the risks to our physical health, but also the impact on our mental health as we cope with our lives being turned upside down in many areas. Please remember that there are excellent services provided by the NHS and charity sector that can help and more details are provided at the end. Thank you for your continued support to our incredible teams. It means a huge amount to our staff knowing that you are behind us and supporting your local hospital and community services at this really difficult time. Stay safe and look after each other.